I'm Eric the Travel Guy. We're hitting the ground early today because we've got a lot to get to. This is Bristol, Tennessee. It's also Bristol, Virginia. Right. right. Get it together. Come on. It's going to be like this all day. There's a reason Bristol, Tennessee and Virginia is known as a good place to live. This town is home to more than 26,000 people who can attest to just that. Bristol offers amazing outdoor life, first class live entertainment, sports and most important, some of the nicest locals you'll ever meet. Located in the northeast corner of Tennessee, Bristol is close to numerous airports, the closest being the Tri-Cities Regional Airport in nearby Bluntville. Though it's just 16 miles from downtown Bristol, I personally suggest you bypass the plains and hit the road via car. That way you can take in the natural beauty that surrounds the town. Hmm. Oh, hi. I'll tell you what we're not gonna do. We're not gonna settle the debate between one national coffee brand and the next. That's why I like to go local whenever I can. And right here in Bristol, we're starting our day at Bloom Cafe and Listening Room. The coffee is amazing and the downtown, very walkable. Let's go. Exploring the downtown on foot or bike is an excellent way to get the vibe of Bristol's local shops, numerous art galleries, and amazing dining options, including five breweries. So bring your appetite. Oh, and be sure to get a picture on State Street. Did you know that Bristol is so incredibly amazing it can't be contained into one state? That's right, who says you can't be two places at once? Well, this is State Street, and on this side of the street, that'd be over here, that's the Virginia side, and over here, that's the Tennessee side. Virginia, Tennessee, Virginia, Tennessee, and a giant sign. We all want to know where the locals go to eat, and for lunch, this is one of those places. Now, you might miss it. It's right on State Street, right by the Paramount Theater. We'll get there in just a second. Tucked away in a little alley, you'll find Bank Street, and it's Crab Cake Thursday, so come on. They're only open for lunch, so plan accordingly to be impressed with salads, freshly made sandwiches, soups, quiche, and more. This food is so good, you're gonna forget the name of the place. Good thing there's a giant sign behind me. Mm-hmm, Bank Street. Remember it. Oh, and I have one more place you gotta try. I'm bringing the crab cake with me, excuse me. Oh, sorry. They opened their doors in 1942 and never looked back. This is Burger Bar. Oh yeah, we're going in. Burger Bar has everything a burger lover could want, from classic burgers to over-the-top creations. And did you know, according to local legend, Burger Bar was the last place Hank Williams Sr. was seen alive. We'll assume the burgers had nothing to do with it. Look at this thing. Look at this, Jacob. Oh, man. That is picture perfect, and it's ready to eat. Ready to roll. You can get your mouth around it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's what I do for a living. You kidding? Now that we've refueled, I thought I would bring you to the true highlight of State Street. This is the Paramount Theater. Its opening day was February 20th, 1931, and it is gorgeous inside and out. I think I'm a little early for the show. I hope it's Charlie Daniels. I love that song. Paramount Theater isn't the only place where you'll find musical history here. As a matter of fact, Bristol is known as the birthplace of country music. They even have a museum. This place is amazing. But the 1927 Bristol Sessions happened here in Bristol, Tennessee, Virginia, and they were recorded by Ralph Peer back in the, that day over two weeks. And they were the first recordings of the Carter family and Jimmy Rogers. That discovery brought country music into the mainstream. Take a stroll through the interactive galleries, watch short films, and get to know the origin of this very popular musical genre. Now when I say nature, we are serious here in Bristol. That's why I brought you here. Right behind me, that's Weir Dam, and just up river, that's South Halston Dam. And I'm telling you, trout fishermen from around the country will tell you this is some of the best trout fishing and best fly fishing in the United States. Go ahead, take a look around. I'm just gonna stand here and take it all in. Whether you're fishing, boating, hiking, or just taking a nature walk, the great outdoors must be a part of your visit here. The Blue Ridge Parkway is close by, and of course, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park is bursting at the seams with fun activities for the whole family. Did you really think that we were gonna bring you to Bristol and not take you inside the last great Coliseum? Exactly. Welcome to Bristol Motor Speedway. Come on, Eric, let's go. 
Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Bristol Motor Speedway is home to NASCAR events and more. The track opened in 1960 and today can house more than 162,000 spectators, which makes the Bristol Motor Speedway the third largest sporting venue in America and the seventh largest in the world. <laughs> so it's worth noting that the cup car drivers drive about 130 miles an hour. We're going about 80 and uh, well, it's awesome and terrifying all at the same time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it doesn't look like we're going that fast. I assure you, my stomach will tell you otherwise. Oh, another turn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what we call a small town with a big punch. Now all you have to do is come and see it for yourself. In Bristol, Tennessee, and Virginia, I'm Eric the Travel Guy. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching. It's a lot, isn't it? Well, look, the goal of this video is to inspire you to actually plan a trip here. Therefore, if you need more information, more videos, and a handy dandy downloadable digital itinerary, it can all be found at ericthetravelguy.com. So don't forget to share and like and subscribe and whatever else you're supposed to do. And thank you for watching. Happy travels. Cheers.